Hi everybody, it's Stephanie from TIGP, back with another DIY Wednesday. Um, today we're gonna be sewing some pajama shorts. Um, still summer, still hot to sleep, so I'm gonna make some shorts. I have made some um, pants before, and I'll show you those, but uh, that's the good thing about these patterns because they come in the package and you can reuse them. So I've already made the pants, I'll show you those, but I'm gonna be making the shorts uh, from start to finish and you can follow along. So inside that package, these are the instructions to follow. So what I've chosen to do is shorts A, those shorts A, and then uh, I'm gonna do a medium because I don't want them too tight and too loose. So what's telling me to lay out my fabric and put on these pieces, which I've already cut out, these were also inside the pattern. We've cut them out. I'm gonna pin them on to the material, this blue material, and then we're gonna cut. This is the fabric that I've chosen to make my cool summer shorts. Always remember, first thing you gotta do when you have your material is to iron it. Make sure all the kinks are out. Now that the pattern's out, fabric's nice and smooth. We're gonna pin, this is um, number one. They've labeled it pretty well. Um, number one at the back. This is number two at the front. So we'll know, um, we'll mark these and make sure we know which is the front and which is the back when we put them together to sew. All the pins have to come on here so we can cut these out. Here's the directions stitch back and front together. So luckily we put a B and an F on both pieces. We know that this is the back, this is the front, and we've pinned them at the inner leg, just on this one. Here we go. Keeping your material to this line here, we're also gonna do a bit of a back stitch. Make sure that that is all sewn up. Keep that line straight. I have a bad habit of pulling the fabric on the other end. Don't, you're just guiding the curve, you're not pulling it. So I noticed, you guys might have noticed, I lost track of this 5 8 of an inch marker. So we put some tape down to make it a clearer indication of where that line is, and then it'll be easier to track once the material's down on there, okay? Now both sides are sewn. It's recommended that you um, press these or steam these seams open so that they lie flatter when you are sewing them together. So I'm going to go ahead and steam or press these seams open so they lie flat. So next step is to put the, the two panels together and sew up the crotch here. So we did that. We stitched it twice to make sure it's reinforced. Next step is to stitch the front and back together at sides. So because we knew, because we marked and labeled, this is the front and this is the back, you sort of have to play around with it, make sure that the front and back sides are lined up and then we're going to pin them along both outside edges. Now these are stitched on both sides like so and now what I'm going to do is create a three inch sort of area here where we're going to create the fold that will become the casing for the elastic, the elastic band. So press and steam this seam down so that we can make that happen. So here's the finished product. I've stitched here and here on both sides. So we've got the, the seam down or these edges down. Um, also, we're gonna go back to the pattern. There's a fold line. They call it a fold line. So that just means we're gonna place a pin here to mark where we're gonna fold it down to make the casing for this. Here's our fold line. 
We've also just tucked this under about a quarter of an inch to, to um, finish it off. So now what I'm gonna do is see uh, steam this down and I'm gonna stitch along the edge again to make the casing wide enough for this elastic to fit in. It's gonna be perfect. Here we go, we've got the casing all pinned and pressed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a big opening here, probably about two or three inches, so that we can get the uh, elastic up in here. And then we're going to, I'll show you how we get the elastic to go all the way around and back here, here we again. go again. We've left the hole here to put this elastic through. Everything here has been stitched right to the quarter seam there. Um, so yeah, I suggest putting a safety pin on this end so that you can thread this through and you'll always be able to find and pull the, uh, the safety pin through easier than without it. Okay, so what happened here, I was not able to get through with my sewing machine because you really do need a special needle for that, like a jersey knit needle. So we've just sewn this by hand. I'm gonna cut off this excess. You don't have to do this step. You could just leave it like that and have the, fin the unfinished, or the finished edge, I should say. But I'm gonna take it one step further and make these a bit more personal. Just like that, these shorts are done. So what we did here at the end was we just pinned and then I stitched around the top and the bottom so this um, cuff won't come out. But that was just sort of an add-on. You didn't have to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. They look huge, but uh, we'll see what they look like on.